Hannah and I are getting ready to go python hunting in the Everglades. This right here is what we're searching for. This snake moving in front of the car. We got a snake moving right here. He's definitely in here somewhere, but again, we want to keep an eye on every little area. All right, Hannah, grab him behind the head. If you Shoot! Oh, you oh, almost oh, I got you again! Oh. Right. What is up, everyone, and welcome back to my channel. I hope all of you guys are having just an absolutely amazing day. And for those of you that are new here, well, I'm Jacob. This right here is my sister, Hannah, and welcome to my crazy jungle. Now, if you guys saw the title and thumbnail, you will know today's video is not taking place at my jungle. Hannah and I are getting ready to go python hunting in the Everglades. I haven't done a nighttime video in very long time, so I'm really excited to do this. Hannah, are you excited for today? I'm very excited. What, what the heck do you think we're gonna find? I don't know, maybe a big python, I'm a little scared. I hope we're gonna find some pythons, and for those of you that don't know, here in South Florida, we have invasive Burmese pythons, and I, as well as a lot of other people, go out and catch these invasive pythons. This is actually the skin of one of my biggest snakes that I ever caught, so Hannah, we're gonna unroll this right now, and okay. I want to I want to show everyone what the heck we're getting into. So you grab that end, and I guess we're just gonna unravel this shirt. This Wait, actually, give me the bot, give me the back end. Okay. You take the big end. Here you go. All right, look at this, guys. This right here is what we're searching for. This is the skin of a behemoth Burmese python. Look at it. Look at it. This thing it's so gold. is absolutely massive. It's Hannah. Are you still unrolling it? I'm still. Unrolling You're she's it. still unraveling it. This is crazy. Did you unravel it, Hannah? Yeah, I finished. All right, let's lay it down so everyone can kind of see. Hannah, why don't you just like, why don't you sit next to it to see just how big this python is? Look at this thing. This is a giant. Wait, and we might, at, we might my, find. Look at my body next. Wait, wait. To let's it. look at your body. Oh my God, Hannah. Look at this thing. <laughs> <laughs> this is crazy. So this is what we're after tonight. Honestly, it's baby season, so we're probably gonna find some babies tonight. But I want to find that big mama python. The mama python that's about this big. It's about a 14 and a half, 15 foot python. So we have really good odds tonight. It's hot, it's humid, and the snake should be moving. So Hannah, should we head out? Yeah, let's do it. All right, guys, Hannah and I are gonna hop in the car. We're gonna head out to the glades and hopefully we're gonna catch some invasive pythons. One hour later. Guys, we just came up on our first snake of the night. We have a red rat snake hanging out in the bushes right now. Look at it, he's right here. We're in one of the palm fields and he's hunting right now, looking for some food. And oh, we got him right here. He's gonna intertwine himself. And look at that. One of my f absolute favorite native snakes to find. And we got to find him right here tonight, first snake of the night. That's what I like to see, more native snakes than invasive. And this one, this guy's really pretty. Some people might think this looks like a venomous snake, but it is definitely not. If you find these guys in your yard, they're one of the coolest snakes to have around. They'll actually take care of all your rats and any rodent problems you know you might have. Snake moving in front of the car. We got a snake moving right here. Hannah, look at that. Let's see what it is. I'm gonna cut him off. Baby. Look at that. What do we have here? Look at this, second snake of the night. Baby invasive Burmese python on the back dirt roads. Look at him, Hannah. He's trying to scurry away inside of the bushes right now. You can see he might, Hannah, all right, get him before he disappears in the grass. You can see these snakes disappear, pick him up. Now, luckily, most of these baby pythons are not too mean. Let's see. Handle them nicely. Handle them. Oh, wait, wait. Wait, is he trying to bite you? Wait. Ow! Wait, he... Jesus. Oh, my, oh my goodness. Wait, he bit did me. Did he bit you? Yeah, you see it? Wait, oh, wait, no, wait. wait. Did he get you again? No, but I'm... I don't know if I saw you get bit. Maybe you got to get yeah, bit again. You... Oh, wait. Yep. Yeah, oh, I got bit. Wait, you see oh, it? Yep, I see. It's like yeah. tiny little needles. Look take at that. Him, take Second him. invasive Permese python. No, you hold him. You hold no, him. Wait. All right, Hannah, grab him behind the head if you don't want to get bit. One, two, three. Look at that. Oh, oh shoot. Oh, he oh, almost ah, he got you again. Ah, wait. Oh, he's on ah, you. He oh, got you. Ah, That's the first python you've been bit by, I think. <laughs> look at that. He bit me twice. Look, he's Ouch. latched on. Look at that. That's crazy. Oh. Look at him. Look at him. Look at him. All right, I'll help wait. get him off. Ah, oh, he's trying to bite me, too. Oh, look at him. Goodness. All right, I've got the baby python. Unfortunately, these are an invasive species and we are gonna have to, you know, dispatch this guy. We're not allowed to take him live and don't bite me, buddy, but it really is sad to think that we do have to put these guys down because they're so beautiful. Look at it. I hate to do it. I wish, we could, I wish we could keep him as a pet. He's so cute. So we decided to go on foot and right over here, I shined a baby green iguana up into the tree right over here. This is another invasive species we have here in South Florida, one of many. 
and right now it's baby iguana season. We just found a bunch on my property. Wait, where is it? And look at this guy. He's right here. Look, you <gasps> see him right here in the tree? Look Wait, at him. He perfectly It's a little bright, blends yeah? In. yeah. Oh look at that. my goodness. You, look at him. I know. Look, he just like perfectly blends in with the tree right now. You could barely even notice him that he's in here in the trees. But I'm going to come right over here right now. Look, he doesn't even notice me. And I'm just going to go one, two. Just pick oh him up just goodness. gently, just like that. Look at that. Beautiful hatchling baby green iguana and it's been raining all day. So this guy's kind of cooled out He's not really trying to run away another prohibited species But these guys are literally all throughout Florida and one of my absolute favorite animals to find out here in the Everglades So I just rolled up on another python baby in the water and he just disappeared down into the water So we literally got to search every single area here to see when this little guy's gonna come up because He's definitely in here somewhere, but again, we want to keep an eye on every little area to make sure that he doesn't escape because we don't want these guys in our environment. And I really want to catch him. This is a ginormous mud pile. I'm not even sure how deep it, oh, that feels really weird. Look at this. There's literally just complete mud. And the thing is, these invasive pythons can sit under the water for hours at a time. Now, a little baby, like with the one that we saw, could only be maybe 30 minutes, 40 minutes. But he could still be under the water for a while. So we're going to sit here for a while. We're going to scan the water and hopefully we'll find him. Hannah, he's right what? in front of you. He's no way. Right, <gasps> he's right oh. there. Hannah, I'm coming this way. Okay. I'm coming this way. Look at it. He just popped up. Look at that. Ha! <laughs> we found him. Look at that. He popped up right there in front of you, Hannah. Look oh at that. Oh, gosh. Beautiful Burmese python baby. I'm just going to pick him up gently. Look at that. He was gone and lost. And we just found him in the silt. Look at that. Absolutely incredible. I was honestly not too hopeful that we were going to find him because it gets pretty deep and it gets very muddy. But I'm so glad that I wore the proper gear to be able to get into the mud to find this beautiful python. Look at this guy. Compared to the other one we found, he's actually quite calm. These guys are some of the best pet snakes that you can have and it really sucks that they're an invasive species. These guys are from Asia and that's where they belong. They definitely don't belong here in our Florida ecosystem. All right, we got another snake right in front of the car. Looks to be another baby python. Let's go, baby. Oh my gosh! Another baby python right here in the road. Look at this. Absolutely incredible. He's just slithering. He has no idea what we are. This is probably the first human he's ever seen. Come right up on him. Look at this. Beautiful snake. And we just want to grab him just like this. Just gently pick him up and hopefully he'll be a nice gentle python. Look at this. Another beautiful Burmese python removed from the Everglades. This is just so cool getting to catch him. And again, this guy seems pretty friendly compared to the other snakes. Oh, I just spoke too soon yet again. Oh, and oh he got gosh. me a second time. Yeah, this little guy, definitely not friendly. Now what's so bad about these invasive pythons here is they can get up to 18 feet long, eating everything in their path from deer to crocodiles to alligators, foxes, raccoons, literally everything in their path. So that's why it's really important that we remove these pythons because each python removed is saving thousands of our native wildlife. So Hannah and I just got back home and what an insane night python hunting. Now we didn't get the 20 footer that we were hoping for, but we found some crazy stuff. Yes, yeah, very and successful. And Hannah got bit by her very first python. Yeah, so I still have, still uh, have the marks from it. Yep, I'm very proud of Hannah. She handled it very well. She got bit by her first python. And well, that, my friends, is going to end today's episode. I hope all of you guys did enjoy watching today's video, Python Hunting in the Everglades. Absolutely amazing time out there. If you guys are from Florida, you want to get out there python hunting, make sure to look up all your local laws. Make sure you know you're following the rules. So if you guys enjoyed today's episode, please make sure to give this video a big thumbs up. Comment down below your favorite part of today's video. If you're not subscribed yet to Hannah, definitely check out our channel. It's going to be linked in my description. And if you guys are not yet subscribed yet to me, you want to see more python hunting, you want to see the rest of my crazy animal gang, well, guys, all you have to do is go right now, hit the subscribe button, tap that little notification bell, and you'll be notified whenever I post.